All right. Uh, the question that it leads to right now very clearly is uh, at one side you have a segment which says this is outright bigotry. On the other side, the BJP says very clearly this is nothing but to protect the purity of faith. And uh, in midst of all of this, you've had the allies of the Bharatiya Janata Party come out strongly and slam their own allies on this diktat, making things a tad bit difficult for the Bharatiya Janata Party. So transparency or bigotry, which one is it? Let's take it to our panelists this evening. Charu Pragya, National Spokesperson, Bharatiya Janata Party. Dolly Sharma, National Spokesperson, Congress. Ashutosh, author, political analyst. Raga Vavasti, political analyst, all with us. We'll be joined by a political uh, spokespersons uh, in a short while from now. But Raghav Avasti, do you not see this putting the BJP in a bit of a catch-22 situation? Because yes, you've had uh, Uttarakhand, you've had Uttar Pradesh say that this is to protect the purity of faith, but their own ally who runs Bihar says absolutely not. This flies against the very diktat of Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas. I think what Mr. Tyagi has expressed is his own view. And if the parties are in alliance, as long as the alliance remains intact and the BJP remains at 240 seats, which is much higher than whoever is second, then I don't think there is any danger to the government. But coming to the merits of the matter, it's very important. There are many shops that display halal certification. They are basically saying that we are selling halal meat. Now, what does halal meat mean? Halal meat basically means it has been slaughtered, that the animal has been slaughtered in a ritually sanctified way by somebody who is a practicing Muslim. I think part of the procedure also involves uh, some recitation of faith while the animal is being slaughtered. So if that is quote-unquote kosher, and even there are some communities like Jews that have uh, kosher laws wherein they are allowed to eat meat only if it's prepared in a certain way, then why is it that something like this should not uh, be allowed as long as uh, there is uh, no uh, nobody else has a problem with it, right? So that is one thing. And Mr. Ovesi said something very uh, pernicious about uh, comparing this to the Juden boycott. Now, there is absolutely no boycott here. Nobody is saying the Kavadiyas are not being prevented from... Uh, from uh, eating at shops that are owned by people from certain communities. They are not being prevented. But if the, if you follow your religious faith, then uh, you are willing to, then, then it should be uh, within your rights, you are well within your rights to make an informed choice. Just like if I am a Muslim, for example, I, have the, I should be able to make the informed choice that, okay, if I go to a certain restaurant, then meat there would be cooked in a quote-unquote halal way. Or if I am a Jew, if I am a practicing Jew, I should also have the... Okay right to know as to whether the meat has okay. been prepared. You know, as I bring in Ashutosh, but you know, there's a bit of a correction. You speak uh, about halal on how, uh, yes, when it comes down to meat, meat uh, the theological uh, intent is that it, uh, the animal was slaughtered by a practicing Muslim. But a halal certification goes on very many vegetarian products like even Haldiram Bhujia. You and I both know that. So, and the various factories of Haldiram have plenty of uh, Hindus who actually are the ones who are preparing those bujiyas and various vegetarian products. There are also multiple Hindus who run and actually export meat under the name of uh, what would sound as uh, Muslim names or Islamic names. So all of that really does happen. And where you said that there is no, uh, you know, nobody is stopping the Kavar ya Yatra, you know, the Yatris to eat uh, uh, from a Muslim-owned eatery, of course, you're very, very right. But what's also happening, and there's documentary evidence of that, that most of these outlets, eateries, handcarts, shops, have actually told the Muslims who work in their eateries not to come to work during the Yatriya. So this is economic boycott at some level, Raghav, and I'll come right yeah. back to you. But allow me to open up the panel and I'll come back to you. Ashutosh, I want to bring you in because there is merit as well, Ashutosh, because a lot of these eateries per se were being run under the names which would guard themselves in Hindu names. And if this is a pilgrimage and a religious pilgrimage of sorts, there is, you know, apprehensions of many who would not want to eat in a place where they feel possibly uh, maybe the food is cooked in animal fat. Uh, Preeti, there is a two, three angles to the entire story. The one is the purity of faith uh, is to be maintained only for a few days, a few few weeks. 
uh, for the 365 days. I think the, anybody who's a practicing Hindu or anybody who's a practicing Muslim would like to maintain the purity of faith throughout uh, as long as he's alive. It's not only for a few months or a few days. So that defies every logic here. The point number two, uh, BJP wants to take India back to the Stone Ages. Most welcome. Please go and do it. But then if you're believing that the purity of faith is so important, then let's go to the Narendra Modi and request him. You come out with a central uh, government order which should be applicable from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and from Manipur to Gujarat. Why only during the Kamadiyas Yatras and only uh, by Yogi, uh, Yogi Adityanath? See, there is a bigger political story here. Basically, this order is to damage Narendra Modi and his coalition government. This morning, the newspaper has reported that RLD... So, Ashutosh, you are saying it's a conspiracy theory by the I'm incumbent not... UP government because of what has gone down in the last three days of the slugfest between the Sangathan and Sarkar. It is the Sarkar hitting back. That's your conspiracy theory? It's not a conspiracy theory. It's a political analysis. Please understand this. What happened? And please follow the chronology. First, the Mujaffarpur, Mujaffar Nagar SSP comes out with an order. When, there's a, when there is a lot of human cries made by JDU and RLD, then what happens? He revises his order. He says, keep the voluntary. Hai. And then Yogi government comes out with an order that this will be applicable in the entire UP. So the, uh, the order which was objected and criticized by JDU and RLD, yes. Jiske Samarthan se Sarkar chal rahi hai, if you are coming out with an order by the government itself, led by Yogi Adityanath and BJP, are you not provoking Fair JDU point. and RLD? Fair are point. And also, Charu Pragya. Okay. Let me just complete. Let me just complete. Uh, complete are you your not, statements. Are, are, are you not, are you not uh, testing their secular credentials? Why are you trying to provoke JDU and RLD? You know this government is not a 272 government, but this is the 240 government. Its survival depends on the support of these. So are you testing their secularism and secular credentials? Are you testing the, 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 okay. the, 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 the right. Chandrabhu Naidu secular credentials? Charu Pragya, so many are reading it as headline management, ultimately. The headlines two days earlier was Keshav Prasad Maurya taking on Yogi Adityanath and the failure of Yogi Adityanath to deliver UP to the Prime Minister. And today it's entirely different because what's happening, Charu Pragya, today is forget about what many would call the liberal lobby. Forget about what many call this bigotry. Your own ally is and not one. You have the JDU, you have the LJP, you have the RLD all standing together and saying this is not Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas. This is communal. Preeti, good evening. Now, there was a law that was passed in 2011, which made it mandatory for all dhaba and restaurant owners to clearly display the name of the owner along with the license number. 2011, UPA government, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh Ji was in office. This is merely what is uh, called uh, making sure that this particular order is got to task. And uh, it's surprising that suddenly everybody is waking up to a law that was passed way back in 2011. Now, let's put some things in perspective. This is an issue of security. This is an issue of ensuring the Kavad Yatra goes off without a hitch. This has nothing to do with secularism. What is the problem in displaying your name clearly? Nobody is stopping anyone from going to any particular state. Forget about Indians. Even if a foreigner wants to open some kind of a restaurant or a bhojnale on that route, they're welcome to do so. But why is it that the pilgrim should not know who is selling what? If the food being sold in a particular dhaba is pure vegetarian or not. And I was listening to the analysis that has been going on and it's very fair. If Muslims can demand a halal certificate because it is religiously correct for them to do so during the time of Kavad Yatra, is it unfair to expect Hindus to only eat at a place where animals have not been slaughtered? And that's not the only order that has been passed by the government of Uttar Pradesh. Let me remind everyone that 
because there have been several orders which have been passed about the use of loudspeakers, for example, about the height of the cover which is allowed, for example, to ensure the yatra goes up without a hitch, without any kind of a security stall which can create problems. Being entangled in electric wires, getting into a fight, or eating something that somebody would consider uh, bad for their religion. So it's it's basically that. And I think being honest about your name should not be creating such an outroar. Has anybody said that if you're a Muslim, you need to display your name? It stands true for everyone, right? All right, okay. You know, as I bring in the uh, BJ, uh, the Congress spokesperson, but Charu Pragya, you speak of the 2011 order, and the, which was a law by under the UPA, which was headed by Manmohan Singh's government. You know, I just want to correct you, and uh, you can come back on that as well. That was for licenses which were credible and the date of how far the license would hold for that particular eatery that be displayed inside the store not outside where it's painted inside the store so at least one knows that this was a genuine license that person held so that's the differentiation just my limited point there number one uh, number two i want to bring in dolly sharma into this conversation dolly sharma um yeah like the bjp spokesperson says why are you trying to give a communal color to it? This is about purity of faith. And nobody is just saying that the Muslims have to give out their names. It's for everybody. And ultimately, let there be transparency. Let the Yatris decide where they want to eat. What's wrong in displaying your name? See, every year, uh, Preeti, five crore Kamaryas collect Ganga Jal from Haridwar and other places in UP. First time we are listening to this in Bihar also, Jagannath Yatra also, many pilgrims, they keep going. But first time we are listening to such thing that they have to, you know, just write a name plate in before their shops so that they know that this person is coming from this caste, this religion. But our constitution, Preeti, gives the guarantees to every citizen that he will not be discriminated against on the basis of caste, religion, language or any other basis. So this, this division order to put up my name, uh, uh, you know, a, a board uh, in front of the shops is, is you know, uh, I think uh, uh, an attack on the constitution, our democracy and our shared heritage. Creating division on, in society on the basis of caste and religious, uh, religion okay. is a crime on the constitution. Okay. So this order should be withdrawn immediately. And okay. Charu Pragya wants to come in for a rebuttal and I'll bring in Ashutosh and Raghav Avasti at the back of this as well. You know, Charu Pragya, uh, the fact is what you're doing is encouraging bigotry is the charge because ultimately there are still people of the Hindu faith who will refuse to eat at a person's uh, eatery or even buy stuff from a handcart, leave alone a Muslim, even a Dalit. And by actually making sure that these people display their name, you're actually enforcing a shadow economic ban on, forget about Muslims, even some Dalits, who maybe in the name of purity of faith, the Kavar Yatris might not want to purchase. So, Preeti, you know, I just want to explain something. 240 kilometers of walking is what the pilgrim does during the Kavad Yatra. They are very strict about their diet, consuming vegetarian food. I am saying that this is about transparency and honesty. I am saying that since when does the constitution say that you need to be one thing and represent another? This is merely a call for saying that Put your name out there. Let everybody know what is the harm in that. And uh, let's also say that, the, you know, this division in the name of religion is completely unfair because everyone is aware more than 80% of the cowards are being made by Muslims. There is no stopping that. But tell me if somebody is very clear, they don't want to eat from a kitchen where meat has been slaughtered or prepared. Why shouldn't the pilgrims be told that? And why does okay. this need to be okay. looked at from a different lens? Telling your name honestly or putting your okay. name out honestly but is Raghav, what are required. Okay. And it is a complete... But, but Raghav, Raghav Abbasti, taking off from what Charu Pragya says, it's not really a kitchen. How does it matter whether a Salim or a, you know, a Hindu name, a Surinder is selling you a banana or a mango, but you've made sure that Salim and Surinder display their names, I even on a handcart honest, selling right? fruit. I, I, I eat everything and I don't even care about the... No, no, I'm not, <laughs> not personal choices, Raghav. I'm just let asking me come, you. Let me come to it. If there are people, if there are Jews, 
who make a choice, who make an informed choice on the basis of their religious belief, which for me is frankly incomprehensible, that they will eat meat only if it is slaughtered in a certain way. And if there are Muslims, right, who make an informed choice that since they are Muslims, they will eat meat which is slaughtered in quote-unquote halal fashion. Then why is it like, what sort of secularism is it that this choice is not extended to Hindus? And everybody Even if is saying it pertains to a handcart rugger? Even if it, it pertains matter, to it mangoes handcart. being sold? Where, where you matter. possibly you possibly are encouraging bigotry in the name of, not I will not buy, buy mangoes from Salim, but I'll buy mango from Surinder or if a banana. If kosher and halal are bigoted, then this order is also bigoted. It's as simple as that. You can't have what is sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander. I mean, there are many places that I've seen in so-called developed countries where they say that the meat that is served here is kosher. So that uh, any Jew with, you know, that the, might I'll have you, compunctions. Somewhere down the line, the halal analogy is a little flawed. Because here, like Charu Pragya, and I'll bring in Ashutosh right after that, is the fact that most of these eateries, forget, they might be owned by Hindus, but they had employed Muslims as workers. All of them have lost their job through the course of this entire yatra. And you speak of 250 say, kilometers, 88 kilometers of that. 88 kilometers of that lie in Bihar from Sultanpur to Diogad. And there this order is not implemented by your ally. But along this route, even if it is Hindu owned, that person has made sure he doesn't have a Muslim employee anymore. Isn't this economic boycott, ma'am? It's not at all. Let me let no, me no, come this in. is for Charu Pragya. Yeah, Charu One second. Charu Pragya, go ahead. So, Preeti, you know, that's exactly what I was trying to say. Now, the order is merely for the owners of the restaurant or the people who are manning any stall. Nobody is asking for an economic boycott. And I think it is uh, very twisted to put it out like that. For one month, which is a holy month, people are fasting, people are walking, people are praying. They have the right to choose which way their astha bends. It's like telling somebody who is uh, fasting during Ramzan, that it's healthier to just drink water or why are you waiting for the sun to set? It's actually an analogy like that. It is somebody's religion. I think it is absolutely fair if there could be spats because of this reason, if there could be arguments because of the reason, if there could be a security compromise because of this reason, everybody has been okay. told to follow a certain... All right, okay, but you know, it's not twisting... Okay, no, it's not twisting facts. One second, it's not... Okay, Dolly, I know, Dolly, Sharma, you want to come in, but this is not twisting facts. These are... These are the facts right now, which has been widely reported, where Muslim workers in Hindu joints and eateries have lost their job. Uh, Dolly Sharma, you wanted to come in for a rebuttal very quickly. I'll bring in Ashutosh. Yeah, I, I said this used to happen in Nazi Germany, where special shops used to mark. They used to mark the special shops. And also, this is, you know, they're spreading a disease of untouchability also. This so is are you Nazi tomorrow going to say the halal shops are required is... on the kujia? Like it is not required on mangoes? Would you say that also, Dolly? It's a very logical question to you. Oh. A bujia is not halal I or otherwise. It's not right? required so and this is not the first time that the yatra is happening. This has the halal certificate years. to be displayed on okay. a pack of bujias. Why not yatra follow the same law for another Okay, tradition? one second. One second. You, you are, Do away with the halal one, certificate. Dolly Sharma wants to come in. Please, Dolly Sharma, come in and I'll bring in Ashutosh. Dolly Sharma. This is not the first time this yatra is happening. This is happening from years. So why now, this time, it, it is because of the fear of coming, uh, you know, elections that are coming. Okay. Again, you want to spread right. this. Okay, this Ashutosh, fear. I want you to come in and maybe delve in a little more on what we spoke of earlier. Because there seems to be multiple facets to this. One might be the purity of faith facet and many might suggest that's the front of it, but it is the political play at the back because if you literally see it, this would be the first discord or the first red flag, flashpoint between the NDA alliance where you've seen three of its big allies or at least two of its big allies and the RLD, the third, get up and say, not happening, this is not Sabka Vikas. See, uh, uh, Preeti, it's so interesting to listen to Avasti and what Charuji is saying. I have a lot of respect for them. But I just want to know a simple fact. There are more than 250 member of parliament, member of uh, legislative assemblies in UP from the BJP and uh, 33 from the BJP, member of parliament from BJP. 
out of these 7 uh, 270 out of these 2 to to almost 300 how many sons of the mlas and the mps are going for the cover none if i if 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 they have a uh, information they should tell us so avasthi and charu they would love to have all kinds of food from every corner of the city like like i do like my parents do who are a practicing hindu and believe into the purity of faith but i want a particular population to be live to remain bigot they 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 should be maintaining the hindu muslim binary that is good for them so i am this this is the dichotomy of this entire argument and the debate none of them i can vouch for this not a single member of parliament from the bjp has been sending their sons for the kavad yatra not one if they can enlighten me with one name i'll be more than happy to do that and i apologize i will apologize on this channel none none of them will join the bajrang dal so they 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 need these people to take lathis in their hand and do all kinds of things but they are sitting in a in a in a in a in a in a five star ac kind of a thing with driving okay. big cars and talking about uh, about all kinds of things second point i that's a very important point i think bjp has not learned their lesson these kind of orders will further further create problems for the bjp because not only the muslims even the scheduled castes and the other backward castes they will also be discriminated when the names are displayed and take it from me i come from up and i know up from the from the back of my hand i know what kind of caste structure is there what right. kind of discrimination is is pursued what kind of untouchability is it so i think the bjp is not willing to learn any lesson let good for them okay charu so pragya let me give you an tomorrow. example okay i want to bring in charu i want to bring in charu pragya into this conversation charu pragya let me give you an example because what happens is uh, way back a lot of uh, scsts and dalits because they did not want to give out their identity assume the name of kumar because and they and we all know that they started calling themselves kumar and they refused to carry their surname because there was a certain amount of bigotry attached to it now when you say ki naam mein kya bura hai dikhane ke liye why are we ashamed of identity these are the very reasons because they were discriminated against and that's why they adopted a name and today you're asking them to come out and give out their name what if you are subjecting them to bigotry so priti you know times have changed and uh, this is not the same time everybody can proudly carry their name the issue here is why hide a name or lie about a name and there is a vast difference between the two whatever your name is displayed as as i was saying in the beginning of the show in my opening remarks if you could do it in 2011 why is it that suddenly in the guise of secularism you are saying this is bigotry it's absolutely not bigotry where in this order any religion has been mentioned nothing has been mentioned True. but as someone who's a pilgrim they have a right to know and if you have nothing to write Or hide putting your okay. name out in an open and transparent manner i don't see what is the problem with that and everything should not be colored with uh, this um, you know color of secularism every single time that's really okay. not you know needed. i've run out of time i know everyone I, wants to get a word in only i apologize seconds, Preeti. Preeti, sir Preeti, i am 10 seconds sir 5 seconds, seconds. three lines sir 5 seconds 5 seconds my name is ashutosh jab koi mujhse puchta hai na upim kehta hai aapka kya naam hai ashutosh aage to kuch hoga nahi nahi ashutosh नहीं नहीं कुछ तो होगा बताइए तो फिर मेरे फादर का नाम पूछते उनका ही नाम में भी नहीं है दिस इज द कास्ट आइडेंटिटी इन इंडिया इन यूपी यू कांट जी आई एम आल्सो फ्रॉम ओके नाउ 5 सेकंड्स 